Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Someone doesn't like this. You know what? Spirit is cutting this person off. Um, they don't have any spiritual protection right now. And karma is coming at them. Other people could be coming at them as well. What is this about, Spirit? Um, just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. We jumped into the reading really quick this time. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Somebody is... Yeah, you're moving on. This is a cycle that's come to an end. This person is cut off. They're getting their karma. They're feeling heartbroken, betrayed. They could even be getting some kind of health issue. Um, I feel like I feel like you have new love coming in. They may be finding this out. You could be posting something on the internet talking about this. Maybe you have a new love offer or you've met someone new. Yeah, whoever this is, they don't want someone to come towards you. Okay, there could even be some kind of fight that pops off. Spirit is like, you are done, man. Um, they're telling this, not you, but they're telling this other person, you are done. You're about to be really happy here, okay? Um, I'm kind of getting the sense that you have met someone new or you're about to meet someone new. This can be going on right now or coming up in the future, okay? Um... Yeah, I feel like you um, you could meet someone new here, or meeting, be meeting someone new, and this person from your past, they want to confront this other person who's coming in. They, I feel like there's going to be a fight. Yeah, you're, uh, you, you're dating somebody new. There's some gossip about you. Some, this person is finding out about it, either through gossip or on the internet. It's a shocker. They could even possibly see you out on a date with someone else. Oh my gosh, that's going to hit them hard. And they're going to want to fight this new person for you. They're going to kind of lose their mind, okay? Um, they may see you out on a date, collective, okay? Yeah, you've got new love. This, Yep, I feel like you've met someone new. Um, oh yeah, you know, they, there could be a couple different people that want to date you here. You know, I, I, I can see this as three separate people wanting to date you. You could be on a dating site. That's going to trigger this person. Something that you're doing is triggering the crap out of this person. And I feel like you're just, you're meeting somebody new here. They may witness you out on a date with someone. I'm telling you, it's um, it's like a, it's hitting this person like a like a flipping wrecking ball. It is. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, I feel like you've got your boundaries up. You may even be acting like you don't even know this person. Like you may be completely ignoring them. You and you're protecting a new beginning here. Uh, yeah, I feel like you don't want this ex back either. Spirit is giving up on this ex. You're giving up on this ex. And now this ex is angry because you're meeting someone new. They're getting their karma. They're being told this by other people. Um, other people could be talking about it. It may even be somebody that they know. You got a lot of options around you. You've got multiple options around you, okay? I kind of get the sense like all of a sudden, um, all of these people are going to want to date you. Like they just kind of, I don't know, man. Or you're meeting, a, you could be on a dating site, okay? This person is angry. They want to know who you're with, who you're spending your time with. They're upset and really ticked off that you're um, giving to someone else. There's a lot of gossip going on about you as well. You know, I feel like in the past, this person, they could have had other options that they were giving to. 
and now they're upset because you've got other options that you man you're attracting so much attention to yourself here but you're beautiful you're you know the world card to me is like everything okay you're everything you're abundant you're beautiful you're smart you're stable you're emotionally stable you're possibly financially stable as well okay you're seen in the public eye somehow whether it's um social media or you have your own platform you're being celebrated in the 5d um you're being put on a pedestal here so you're having some kind of victory a glow up like you're gonna have a lot of people coming towards you very very soon collective okay <laughs> People are finding you extremely sexy. Yeah, and they're going to want a victory with you. I, You know what? Here's another person approaching. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know if you could possibly be on a dating site here, okay? And this person may see it or may find out about it. Or a lot of people are just really attracted to you right now. You're sexy. You're smart. You look fabulous. You're you're doing fabulous in your life. This is like a, this is like a shocking moment for your person when they realize that there's a there's there's probably like five people here coming at you. One, two, this other page, three, four people. Well, six, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, I feel like. Uh, I feel like you've got a lot of new new love options coming in. You may not be aware of it yet. Okay? There's masculines that want you. There's feminines that want you. I don't know. I don't know who this is for, but you've got a new soulmate coming in. Okay? And this person is finding out about this. Um, oh, they're mad. They are big, big mad. They're going to want to fight somebody, okay? They are. They're going to want to fight somebody. <laughs> yeah, look, all of the, yeah. I feel like each one of these is a, is a person who wants to date you, a person who wants to talk to you. They can feel this energy, this love energy coming in. Um, and they're in a lot of regret, okay, forever turning their back on you. I feel like they were giving to floozies, right? They were giving to party party people, karmic feminines, is what I'm seeing in this picture. They um, and yeah, they were giving to other people, third party situations, you know. And now they're upset that you're moving on and you've got options. The people that they were giving to, it didn't work out with. The, there's they don't have any love in their life right now. I feel like you gave this person unconditional love and they pushed it away. They pushed it away for little party going karmic people, okay? And now you're getting some legitimate offers here. You've you've got at least 3 legitimate offers coming in. One maybe just wanting to date and have fun, but um yeah. I feel like they're going to want to fight a new person. They're, this person kind of snaps when they hear this news or when they find it out. You're also um, possibly like in a time of collecting a lot of abundance right now. You're receiving right now. Um, you could be in the Ten of Pentacles or somebody's going to come in to your life and um, you'll be in a commitment soon. Okay, I kind of feel like you've got opportunities, options, and a lot of money here, a lot of abundance. Good health, uh, emotional stability, financial stability. Yeah, look, this person from your past, they were supposed to come in and make it right, and they didn't. It took them too long, okay? Maybe they were um, too guarded. Because I feel like maybe your energy intimidated them. 
I feel like maybe this person, they could have wanted you to chase them as well, but you're not going to chase. You didn't speak to them at all. They could even have some secrets that they're hiding from you. Spirit's like, man, walk away from this person. You've got other options coming in, and one of them is going to win your heart and, um, and commit to you. Okay, yeah, this person lost an opportunity. They were given the Holy Grail couple love. You know, this person could have prayed for somebody like you. And you step into their life, and I don't know, man, they chose other people. They chose party-going barflies and karmic feminines over, over you. So they pushed your love away. They turned their nose up at you. Now they're crying over spilled milk in a lot of regret. Okay, they never made a move. They didn't, they didn't shoot their shot, okay? So now you've got all of this fresh new energy, you know, just rushing in to your life. A lot of other options. You're closing out a cycle and spirits like we're walking away from this person too. Look, two is, there's two of swords in them. They're making a decision here. Spirits making a, a final decision on this connection. And they're like, it, 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 he's even throwing his hands up in the air like, we don't know what to do. We tried to work with this person. We tried to give them messages. We tried to get them to come forward and do the right thing. And they, they just, they kept playing with karmic people. So his spirit's like this, okay. Okay, you can have the karmic individuals. And they're only getting empty cups from these other people that they've been entertaining. Okay, yeah, now this person wants to come back towards you. Now they want to now they want to reunite. They want to get back together, collective. But it's I feel like spirit has made the decision on this. This is a cycle that's ending. And um, they they had plenty of time to do this right. Every day was a new opportunity to make this right with you. And they didn't. Okay, there's been no communication, no action from this person, and they're in a whole lot of regret, and that's fair. This is spirit saying this is a fair outcome. Okay, it's fair to you because you did your work, and you put in the effort into yourself, and now you get to move on and be loved by someone else. Spirit is saying this is fair. Because this person turned their nose up at this blessing. They wanted a different kind of person. They were after karmic individuals. Party goers. Okay? And so that's what they received. This is very fair, says the universe. And this person can't stand it. They hate it. They're literally having like a temper tantrum here when they find out that you're dating again, that you're meeting new people, that you're about to be loved the right way. This person snaps. They, they're, they're, they're losing it, okay? But spirit is like, there's nothing you can do, brah. It's, it's done. Yeah, they're going to want to fight. Whoever comes in, they may want to fight somebody and spirit is like I, I feel like if they if they try there's gonna they're gonna have a tower moment okay I feel like you are finally getting your justice justice in the form of new things money new opportunities a new boo a lot of attention being put on a pedestal and celebrated okay that's the scales being balanced out for you in your life. And, and spirit's giving this person their karma. That's, this, that's everything coming into balance. Okay? But they're still going to want to fight somebody. I feel like, yeah, see, spirit's like, um, no. They're putting them in a spiritual jail. Because here's the thing. You're an earth angel. You're the temperance angel here. You've been manifesting new love. You may not be aware of it, but you have been. Um, because you want love in your life. And Spirit is saying, our earth angel is love. 
the earth angel is love and balance. So balance needs to come into the earth angel's life and love needs to come into the earth angel's life. And spirit gave this person an opportunity to be that love in your life. But they betrayed you, abandoned you, um, broke your heart and turn their nose up at you and toss that blessing to the curb. So you know what? You're about to get a replacement, okay? And I feel like this new person coming in, it's going to lead to a commitment. It's going to lead to, um, where's the Ten of Pentacles? It's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. A commitment and someone who's going to help you build generational wealth, abundance, a happy life. Yes, and that is the truth. And this is also, I feel, a decision being made from the divine, okay? Um, the higher font, the two of swords, it's a closing of the cycle with the world card. All of these are lining up. Um, it's This is karmic justice. This is the scales being balanced out, everything being made fair. And this is the truth. This is like... Um, you know, the ace of swords, all the aces are, are given by the hand of God. So this is like a decision that's being made by the divine. And this person, I feel like um, they're stuck. They, they, they may want to fight someone new, but I feel like spirit will stop them from doing that. You, you deserve a new beginning. As an earth angel, as the one who put in the effort, you deserve a new beginning here, and it's going to be beautiful, okay? That is what the universe has decided. You can see it right here, and that's coming from God, okay? Yes. So now I'm seeing, like, a complete separation between your life and this person in the past, okay? I don't think they can come back in anymore, I think they're going to want to try to stop new connections for you, and they're going to be stopped from doing that. Um, yeah, and I see a beautiful future for you. I really do. What advice? What advice do you have for my collective? So this is the wheat being separated from the chaff, okay? Okay. The, and the fates, um, this is the universe deciding, making a decision. And you're about to get all of the blessings that have been stored for you in the 5D. Okay, all these little stars coming down from above, those are your wishes. Those are your blessings happening, big and small. Okay, so this could feel like a very like lucky and magical time in your life right now. You're starting to see your justice roll in. You're starting to see a balance being created in your life. Um, a peace, peaceful life. Yep, and you're leaving that past cycle behind and starting your new life. And you're being celebrated. Just like I said, see the confetti? Okay, um, that's coming from heaven. All right, you've got, um, it's, and you're very intuitive. One foot on the 3D, one foot on the 5D. You're moving forward. You've been crowned. Okay, so you're being elevated, um, put on a pedestal, and you're starting a new life here in a very peaceful way. Okay? Yeah, and big change is about to happen with the 5 all right, and you're on the right track with the three. And your life is being balanced out. You're realizing what's no longer for you. You're releasing that and leaving it in the past so you can move on into the new future, right, with a deep knowing that your blessings are coming in. I love this reading. I do. I really do. And this, just know, this person from your past, I'm telling you, they are big mad about you dating other people, but there's nothing they can do about it. Spirit's going to have them stuck in a spiritual jail. 